Hey guys, so today I'm reacting to Bleach. Woo! And I know there's been a week break. I had my friend come visit, but now the schedule is going back to normal. Bleach will be on Fridays. And for now, I know Bleach is only once a week, but I really do want to catch up with One Piece, especially with the new One Piece movie coming out. And I don't know when it's going to come out to the US. So I want to make sure I'm all caught up to One Piece so I can watch the movie. But once I catch up with One Piece, then there will be more Bleach and JoJo's content for you guys, so yeah. But before I get started with this reaction, I have an Amino shout out. This Amino shout out is to Eric Terry with this beautiful Naruto painting. I believe it's a painting. And welcome back for one. But I really do love Naruto and especially in his Nine Tails state. Not going into detail, just in case you guys haven't seen Naruto, but that is just the form Naruto gets later on in the series but it's just really awesome and it makes me miss Naruto. But again, this is an amazing piece. It makes me really miss Naruto. Thank you so much for sharing it in my Amino community. Never change, always stay the same and sparkles. I also wanna give a huge shout out to my patrons, King of the Pirates and Above Tier. It helps me provide you guys content on YouTube as well and it's just really amazing. So thank you guys so much on Patreon for all your love and support, sparkles. Okay, so we ended off finding out about these Vastalordes, which I think I might have been confused thinking that every single one at the end was a Vastalorde. Um, I think some of the comments might have cleared that misconception I had, but um, they did mention that if there were 10 to group together, that would be the end of the Soul Society. I believe that's what they said. And Aizen is just behind all of this, of course. So yeah, maybe we'll get to see more of Aizen, which, you know, that baddie though. Um, again, though, I'm really curious. I'm glad the squad's back, and they also helped Ichigo kind of get past this depression that he's had, which, um, in the filler arc, they made it seem like he was controlled by the hollow, like, inside of him, and that is kind of what put him back from doing the Shinigami stuff, so glad to see he's worked past that. Again, Rukia kind of brought the old Ichigo back out of him. We also met new characters, such as Ukiora. I believe his name was, I can't remember who the other guy's name was, but Ukiyoro kind of was like that emo looking dude, kind of reminded me a little bit about Frieza, so I just found his character interesting, especially because he was calling every single person trash, so he's got an attitude problem. Curious to find out more about him though, but anyways, without further ado, I'm going to get started, let's go, bleach! Pew. Ichigo got like wrecked in that fight though, oh my gosh. Again, they make it seem like all these guys are Vestalordes, though. That's what's so confusing. Like, he says that, and then there's just a whole bunch of people. Oh, Yami, that's what that guy's name was. Gosh, Aizen, though. Oh, my gosh. Of course. The second Aizen becomes evil, he becomes so much hotter. <laughs> oh. He's gonna show. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. Just. Oh, okay. I thought he was squeezing his eyeball. That's interesting. Are they gonna taste it? <laughs> Grim jaw. Okay, so these guys definitely just look like normal people. Oh, so they're banking on maybe the hollow taking over himself, wrecking himself. He's so confident. Oh my gosh. I feel like that's like a villain's mistake though all the time. Oh 
don't see. <laughs> They're still in his house. They can all stay in his room then? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, ain't you going in his virgin eyes? <laughs> Yeah. And she's like, I'll stay in the closet again. Aww. She's just gonna live there. <laughs> Ichigo secretly loves that, though. Let's be real. Oh my gosh, she's putting on an act for his family. <laughs> Cracking her back. Aww. <laughs> he needs somewhere to stay too. Are they seriously going to take a bath? Together? No, okay. <laughs> it's like, why was she so like, let's take a bath together? Mm. No. Aw. Aw, that's so sad. That's not true. Aw. She's too hard on herself. Give her a naked hug. Oh gosh, she is not even wearing a towel. Oh my gosh, she actually gave her a hug naked! Oh, that just got really weird. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's because now he's kind of knocked out of his depression, though. It's going down. Uh-oh. Looks like we're gonna get a fight soon. Uh-oh. Everyone. <gasps> she just really wanted to stay in the closet. <laughs> No. <laughs> they're like tracking everyone. So what they're gonna attack then? <laughs> oh my gosh. They're just so intrigued by the simplest things.
Aww. They can be like roommates forever. <laughs> it's like a girl sleepover that they're having down there. Like it's so bizarre, it's so funny, it's so adorable though. Oh gosh, they locked onto them too. Oh no. Chad's the one that's asleep right now. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm expecting some chaos in the next episodes. I mean, they've locked onto everyone. Grimjaw was very just out to get Ichigo, which makes sense because I feel like when the villains underestimate who their opponent is, later on they get stronger and then they kick their butts. So, I mean, he's trying to get to Ichigo before he makes progress, before he gets stronger, which, I mean, that is a smart idea. I don't blame him. But I'm just wondering how this is all going to play out and how strong these guys actually are. I mean, just when Yami and Yukiura were most well, mostly Yami, I mean, he was pretty strong. He destroyed Ichigo, so I'm Assuming these guys are very strong, so time to find out what's gonna happen next. Let's go. Oh, really? They're not going after them? He's all by himself. Uh oh. Oh, he's ready. Let's hope that these guys don't get hurt or die. Ooh. They like got there in an instant. <laughs> oh, they are getting right to business. Subaroshi. Not if you, you know, lose, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Uh oh. <gasps> oh, no. <gasps> oh, my gosh. <gasps> Ichigo! Oh man, he is swift! Oh, that's just like when they met too. Come on, Ichigo. Can you not fight him? Oh, is she gonna fight? <gasps> oh, snap! Here we go! Nichigo's like, I'm in love. <laughs> Look at that! Time to see Rukia fight. I'm excited. What the heck? Please? <laughs> I can't even imagine! <laughs> Oh. 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 
Rukia's got the moves! Uh. Oh, snap. Oh! She's freezing him! Oh! It's like a beam! <gasps> wow, that's powerful! She got him in the sky! Is he gonna just shatter? Did she seriously take him out? It, was that it? Was that seriously it? She seriously finished him off? Okay, Ruki is powerful. She's very powerful. Or that guy was just really weak. That is a really beautiful sword. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Her brother, maybe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no, who else? Oh, is, if he's back, oh. Oh, he's back! Oh wait, no, that's a different one. It's gonna be. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's him. Number six. Uh oh. Was D-Roy just really weak? Because. And this guy that's just walking around outside, he's gonna get himself into trouble. Oh, he can see them! Oh, this kid's gonna be in so much danger! I love how he's like, I'll protect you from these guys, but he's not being targeted! Why do I feel like he's gonna defeat him, like, right here, right now? Okay, so I think he's gonna win this fight? Oh! And okay then. Okay, so we got to see Rukio Senpakuto, which was really cool. Her blade is gorgeous and she has this ability. It's like ice. So she easily took out D. Roy. I almost thought he came back because that was so fast. Oh my gosh, Rukia. I love seeing her in action though because I mean, we went through the Soul Society arc. She was kind of like the damsel in distress. She didn't really do much. So I'm really glad to see her in on the action and 
she came in like a boss and she destroyed him so i'm really looking forward to rukia in the future especially from that little glimpse of her true power as a shinigami but it was also mentioned that rukia is strong enough to be a ranked officer which is crazy but i guess her brother kind of kept her out of that to protect her especially because the missions are more dangerous just the responsibility and everything so yeah i just think it was really cool just got to see a glimpse of Rukia. And now we ended off the episode with Hikaku challenging an around car, but he is determined to win. So let's continue on and let's see if he's going to beat him, I guess. So let's go. Let's hope you can actually win after saying all that, you know? It's kind of embarrassing if you hype yourself up and then get, like, wiped. Ah, <laughs> uh, is that true? <laughs> Oh, he pulled it out. <laughs> Is he gonna do anything? He looks so much like he belongs in One Punch Man. Just say he's satisfied. He is that face, like he's ready to slice him up. Oh, oh, he got some blood damage there. Oh, that guy's a wishbone. This looks like a wishbone. Oh, he slashed his face. <laughs> That's how he's acting. I, with this music, it makes me think something bad's gonna happen to him. Uh oh. Sounds like they're going to start dancing with each other. Well, that's flaming. Magma boy. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh my gosh. It like formed to his body. Oh now back to him. He's actually kind of freaks me out with how strong he could be. He Worlds apart. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. I'd assume Rukia. He just stabbed her. <gasps> oh no. Uh 
No, this is not good. This is not good. Oh my That's insane. He's at least prepared. Was he still s What? Uh... Oh no. Oh, come on. Fight back. Come on. Oh. Yes! Oh! The animation quality in that is insane! Oh, come on. Oh! Ah! Are you kidding? I thought he would have had a comeback! Come on, you can do it. Oh no. Come on. Please say he didn't just take that hit. And he was smiling. Maybe this guy has the will of DGs. <gasps> oh. Oh, snap! <gasps> oh, snap. Oh man! The comeback! Yes! Let's go! Oh. Uh, just got me like my adrenaline going, man. Oh boy. Let's see it. Oh. There's like a dragon on it? Dragon's chest. <laughs> Holy. That is some epic. Oh my gosh! He got him. Oh. Yes! Oh my gosh, he's gonna slice him in half. Oh. Oh, slicing him like butter. Oh, is there a reason that the dragon's like getting f empty or f full? Oh, it's like, is it loading up? Like on the dragon, half of it's like lit. Oh. Is he noticing it? Or? That's not even its full power? Okay, so that must mean, okay. Cliffhanger, bleach! I didn't know you did cliffhangers that bad. Oh. <laughs> bleach, bleach! Come on. Well, now I'm doing another episode because I'm not ending it there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Ikaku finally releases Bankai, which again, very epic. Even in like the small cuts with the animation, it was just flowing so nicely and it was insane. It got me so hyped. And he's against Arankar 13, which I guess I'm like, Aki, you know, because he's all like magma and everything. I always thought it was going to focus on Grimjaw because, I mean, he was saying how this is the true form of the Arankar. It's kind of like when they release into their forms. So he has this like almost this armor around him. But I'm just so excited. 
I was so worried about Ikaku. I mean, they made it seem like he was going to lose his battle, and he finally releases Bankai, and just things took a turn. He is so epic. This is awesome, and I'm going to have to do another episode because, oh my gosh, that cliffhanger. <sighs> I didn't expect it, honestly. Didn't expect it, but I'm going to do another episode. Let's go. Um, flashback, maybe? I don't like this. Normally when they show flashbacks, something bad happens. Mm. Oh, look at him. He looks so different. Oh my gosh. He's going all in, beating that guy up. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's just picking fights with people. <laughs> oh, it's that little girl. Oh, damn. Uh, oh, he's kind of hot. It's like younger self. <laughs> I guess without all that crazy stuff going on with him, though. He's in, like, pretty average clothes. Oh. Always the blood licking in anime. It's like, yum, tastes good. <laughs> Never mind, he's not that hot anymore. I'm like looking at him. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how did that turn out? Take your heart? Mm. Oh, did he just break his blade? Ugh, flashbacks when, especially when they give you messages like that. Team protection squad. No, <laughs> he's like, what? for Kaku to show up. Oh, look at that. He's already there. <laughs> She's just like, it's a caterpillar! <laughs>
he gonna take it down like really fast? He's always like smiling though. I don't think anything really scares this guy. Aww. Oh my gosh, already halfway through the episode. Is this just gonna be a flashback? I wanted to get back to the fight. No, this is not good. This is not good. We are getting like his life story. Well, not his like childhood story, but this is not good. I was so afraid. Like he's helping them out and just his attitude. Ugh. Can't do this, Bleach. You know, I've seen enough anime to realize that this is. Gosh darn it! Oh my gosh, it's gonna make me so sad if something bad actually happens to him! Oh no! Oh no! say he's okay. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness you did kill him, show. Oh my gosh! Talk about an entire, like, just anxiety throughout that entire episode. So I was actually expecting more fight, but I mean, the episode prior to this one, it ended with them clashing. So when there's kind of like a reflection episode where it shows you just the past and it was just kind of alluding to a whole bunch of moments where it's like he still wanted to be under Kenpachi's command if he were to die and he didn't want to take on Captain and just a lot of things that made me feel like he was going to actually die at the end of the episode. But thank goodness he's alive. Honestly, that would have made me so sad because I, I gained a lot of respect for him throughout this episode and the previous episode. I really liked his character, so if they were going to do that, oh, <laughs> that would have been so sad. But again, he defeated him. He defeated the Aran car, so yeah! And he's okay, so... Whew. Honestly, my heart is a little bit like on edge right now. That was a little too much. <sighs> okay, but I'm gonna end it there. Probably the best place to end. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't even imagine. Like, 
complete. <laughs> Just too much, too much emotion. But again, thank you guys so much for checking out this reaction. It was very, I need to like catch my breath. All is good though, so thank goodness. And I'm assuming the next episode we'll get back to Rukia and Ichigo against Grimjaw. So that will be interesting, especially when they find out that this guy's defeated too. So there you guys go. There's my bleach reaction. If you like this video, give it a like. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more awesome bleach content and other anime things. And as always, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay fresh and bye.